here once again. I'm actually now here in Yakuska at a uh, car show out here. A lot of muscle cars from back in the States, so it's actually pretty nice to see a little change of pace out here in Japan and look back in the States here on the uh, September the 11th. So uh, I also concluded some of the videos here of all these cars, so just enjoy. It's currently the 11th of September 2011. That is true. Uh, been 10 years now since 9-11. Uh, uh, actually, myself uh, there, I was in uh, New York State when that event occurred and definitely uh, remember that day uh, very clearly and vividly and also uh, another important date today it's uh, six months since March 11th disaster up here in Japan as well so a very significant day of remembrance here across Japan and across the United States and across the world today as uh, many events have unfolded here in the past 10 years and the past six months following this these two but first starting off here with these tropical systems here for the weather update today we have invest 91w here near Iowa Toe and also we have invest 93w in the South China Sea. Still is a bear clinic low starting to move across the Sea of Japan here as well. Just gonna, interacting with the high pressure off towards the north and the high to the southeast of Japan. And I do want to mention these two areas of high pressures. Even though they don't have any weather with them directly, they are playing a significant role in what's going on out here today. Main reason is because this Bowen High right in here, just southeast of Japan. This is the Bowen Islands down here, so we call this the Bowen High. Uh, this Invest 91W, if this does develop into a tropical system, it's going to run to the west towards the Ryukyu Islands, but before it can move any farther towards the west, it is going to turn towards the northeast and not head up towards this area of high pressure, as that will add, act as a roadblock. So, I do want to mention that clearly, that these two areas of high pressure is going to play a significant role in the development and the movement of this Invest 91W. But if we take a closer look at this Invest, you will see that there is a clear circulation in these cloud images. Now, the satellite picture was taken this morning, but it does show this clear indication of a circular motion kind of showing in the banding here on this microwave imagery but also if we look at this visible imagery up here towards the top right you can see some of these low clouds or these low cumulus making that banding as well not just these higher clouds moving in on a lot of the cirrus loft and a lot of cumulolimbus or CBs and very convective clouds on the right periphery but overall there is a clear indication of a circulation thus a potential for further development and then this is also further uh, indicated here on the ASCAT imagery in the satellite derived winds just showing a circular motion here down along the northern Marianas you do see this motion down here in the bottom part of the screen and that is also indication of the cyclonic circulation and a formation of a possible tropical depression here and therefore JMA actually did go ahead and call this a tropical depression just basically on southwest of the Bowen Islands is where it's located and also just southwest of Iwoto as well and this is just indicated here on the JTWC TCFA uh, JMA JMA already going ahead and calling us the TD. The JTWC is just saying that there is a very high chance of tropical development in the next 24 hours by issuing this TCFA or tropical cyclone formation alert. But now we have clearly uh, distinguished that the system is developing and there is a clear circulation amidst of it. Now where would it go if it does develop further? Well that's what I'm trying to indicate here by these four different models. Do want to note GFS not really picking up on the system very much so we're going to kind of throw that one out of the mix. It's mainly because of these three models are in close agreement, uh, CMC, the no gaps, and also the UK model, which has been fairly accurate recently. It's just showing the system tracking off towards the west, towards the Ryukyu Islands, then making a turn towards the northeast as it starts to get caught up in upper level trough and it wants to basically round the subtropical ridge axis of this high pressure up here towards the northeast as well. So really UK is kind of the model of choice right now and it does show moving out towards this direction here. It also does show a slight deepening that's what this color is indicating here as well just showing the pressure going down as it does drift off towards the northwest and possibility of the system forming up to a tropical storm maybe even a typhoon status but it's still very long range out and definitely after we see the system develop a little bit more we'll be able to get a clear picture on the intensity forecast but I also do want to show the streamline analysis which does also match up with what I was saying here when you do streamline analysis you want to follow the overall background flow not the circular motion here but where the winds are actually Actually carrying the system and most of these arrows are pointing basically towards the due west and then eventually out towards China before it starts to recurve off towards the northeast so I really like using this product it has 
not failed me much at all and it really is typically accurate at least out to about 48 to 96 hours it usually is accurate so basically I would expect this rotation and the cyclonic circulation to drift off towards the west but as far as intensity forecast that is a hard one to look at at this time we all do know that Kulop just went through the Ryukyu Islands region and that got completely sheared off while the conditions haven't changed too much since now this tropical depression or tropical system is developing and moving basically in a similar track as that previous system. You do have about 30 knots of wind shear out ahead of it right now, but over top of it, it does have 5 to 10 knots. Thus, we are seeing more convection below up here, and especially on the right periphery, it does have some good outflow along up here towards the north. There you go. You are seeing a lot more convection in that region as well. And also, I did mention this Invest 93W. The main reason this is an Invest is just for because of the vast amount of convective clouds associated with this. This is a very widespread area of convection, but there is no circulation amidst of this right now. Not very organized, but it does have a lot of potential there if something does get organized and start to circulate amidst of this. A few of the models are saying that it could develop and drift off towards the north, but at this time, I personally do not think this would develop. And also, I do want to mention, as I indicated earlier, we still have a stationary front up here, but this should remain north of Japan and keep it rain free here over the next several days which is very good news a lot of bond festivals going on out here across japan lots of uh, end of the summer activities but also because southern japan still recovering from tropical storm or typhoon talas that is all for today everyone if you have any questions comments or suggestions please post them in the comment section below depending on wherever you're watching this at so thanks again for watching and i hope you all have a great day and stay safe out there